Was this the Napa Valley of the Byzantine era? Researchers in Israel say they've unearthed an enormous wine factory unlike anything they've found before. There are many, many wine presses that have been found during excavations. You can see hundreds of wine presses. So, okay, so what's the big deal? The big deal is the size of this complex and also the fact that it's all clustered together to create one sort of whole unit. That, that's never been found in this, this kind of quantity or this kind of, uh, of clusteredness, if, you it, if that's a word. So the fact that we have all of this together in one place is what is the, is the new aspect of this excavation. The site is estimated to be 1,500 years old and the size of a football field. The Israel Antiquities Authority says a place like this was probably producing more than half a million gallons of wine a year. Back then, wine had more practical uses than fueling bachelorette parties. The wine was probably sweet. Um, the taste of Europeans at that period was a sweet wine because a lot of times, what, uh, in order to um, uh, prevent from getting sick from the water, you pour wine into the water and then even babies and small children drink water with wine. But how does ancient wine compare to what is produced today? We won't actually know because there were no aging bottles of wine to be found, but these researchers are hoping to find enough clues to possibly replicate the wine that was made in this factory. The question that we have is what were the great varieties that were drunk uh, were drunk at that time. We don't know the answer. What we're trying to do is to, to get information from the, uh, from the DNA from the pips themselves. If they can figure out the grapes and the formula, these researchers will surely be toasting to their discovery the way their ancestors would have. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.